We're back. We're back. Are you excited? By the way, the first four episodes I did of this, not a great sound balance, and I'm sorry. I sa oh, fuck me. I sounded much louder than the game, and it was really hard to hear the game, and I'm sorry. This time, hopefully a better sound balance. Might still be shit. Won't know until I'm editing, because I record everything at once. That's just, that's just what a rebel I am. And instead of recording the game channel and the uh, vocal channel separately, I record them at once because I'm lazy and I don't want to edit them together. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Alright, we gotta focus. Alright, th there may be a moment of silence as I figure this shit out. Alright. Hello, big ol'. Big ol' turd fry. Mm, I hate these piranha plants. There we go. Alright, don't care about those coins. Goombas with their big old fangs. Look at those big fangs. I love them. I love Goombas. They're sort of the hapless, like... They're the half-wits of the Mario universe. Why did that kill me? I just want to know why that killed me. I want to know! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine! It's fine! <laughs> well, one more life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually just see... Because I haven't finished any levels in this world, I'm gonna actually just let my lives run out. Alright, let's try this again. HA! I got you, you mushroom. I figured out what you needed from me. Oh, fuck me! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, God, I suck. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll just get myself another P-Wing. Or whatever it was. Was it a P-Wing? No, it was a mushroom. I don't fucking know. Whatever. It was great. Whatever it was. We'll get this one. This one. Oh, good. Another mushroom. Really know how to make me happy, game. Alright. Here's... I know what we need to do. I know what we need to do. We're gonna save... We're gonna use that mushroom. We're gonna use it like it was meant to be used. It's not supposed to sit there in your inventory and rot like a mushroom would realistically do if it just sat in a box. No! You big turtle turd fuck fuck you. Fine. God damn it. Fuck this game. Fine. Everything is great. Whatever profanity you hear coming from my mouth is an accident. It was dubbed in after the fact by my enemies. I s Every once in a while when I'm recording, I get worried that I'm not recording the microphone, which has happened before, sadly. Whoa, yeah, there we go. I have accidentally not recorded my, my uh, vocals. Oh, god damn it, you hopping turtle shit. So I get just the gameplay with, like, a picture of me shouting. Why doesn't that work on the big guys? Ah! I thought it was because he was on a flat surface the first time. That's not the case. That's not the case. This is one of my least favorite songs in this game. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. It's because of the uh, intro. It's irritating. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Beautiful. I will destroy this level. I will go into its very core and destroy it from the inside out like I did my ex-girlfriend. Ouch! I'm sorry, ex-girlfriend. I mean, it's really not even true. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a piece of shit. I try not to be anyway. Who knows? Maybe I am. Maybe secretly I'm a terrible turd plaster fucking, you know, whatever. But I don't think so. You know, I try hard. That's enough, right? Trying. Alright, come on. Ha! I love fire flowers. It's like the machine gun of the Mario world. If you were fighting a war in the Mushroom Kingdom, you'd certainly want a battalion of fire flower troopers. That's what I'd call them anyway, fire flower troopers. Mmm. Still sipping on this uh, tequila screwdriver after however God knows how many episodes. Get a little bit more light in here. Is that better lighting? Is that worse lighting? I, that's that's more even lighting. That's fine. Moving lamps. This is my my professional lighting setup. Moving lamps about. Um. Do I need to beat that castle? No. Then we're not.
not going to. Oh, great. I thought we were done with the water levels. Nope. No worries. I got this one handled. I have beaten this one before. I remember it from a dream I had once. Yeah, fuck you. Fire flower for the win. Ah! Oh, crap. I almost died by that guy. There's so many pipes. If any of these actually go down, I'll be sort of disappointed. Oh, no! I went to try that pipe, and it... I got... It, I was punished for my hubris. Or however you say that. I always want to say it, hubri. I fucked it up. I wanted a star. I... Give me one second. Just, just one little second. All right, I'm back. I Sorry, I had to check the time. So we're looking at... Uh, we've been doing this for six minutes. I thought it had been more. Beat that level first try. So suck on that. Uh, Mario, I guess. Two up. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Got a two up, got a two up. That's a number two for you who can't count. Two up is one plus one. Alright, that was useful. Useful information. Fuck this. Why did they put the little bricks below that? I don't fucking know. Another thing I like, see how these bricks, these uh, large blocks, are actually just the same as the small blocks, but blown up twice? For those not in the know, that is not a feature of the NES. The Super Nintendo could blow something up like that, but the NES could not, to my knowledge, anyway. So those are actually hand-drawn. So what they did is they doubled them in size and left them that way for aesthetic purposes. This was long before the chi the like chip tune and retro movement of of the you know two thousands really, and uh, and so the idea that they just picked the sprites and blew them up and said fuck it we're done it's kind of amazing to me because the the eye for detail that Nintendo has always had you think they would have like upscaled the graphics but they didn't they just blew them up. So, just a, a thing I thought I should mention to you. Because um, they could have made them look nicer, and they chose not to. And I personally think that was a good choice. I don't think they would have looked good trying to scale them up. Just leave them pixely, fuck it. Alright. Hey, we're, we're blasting through these levels, look at this. So, that's another design, kind of, of Mario 3. Is that each world has a difficulty curve? Um, so the level level one is the easiest and level six is the hardest, and then the game itself has a difficulty curve as well. So world one is the, the uh, easiest and world eight is the hardest. So it has this feeling of like you start off easy and then you get hard with the castle. You know, you do the uh, the airship and it's difficult, and then you kind of you, you you ratchet it down. The difficulty goes down, but not all the way. So if the difficulty started at a one. World 2 starts at a 2. So you're not quite like, oh, oh, right, I can warp across the screen. Great. So you're not quite comfortable, but, you know, it's easier than the freaking castle that you just ended up doing, which was a nightmare. Oh, great. I'm gonna keep my, uh, tail. So yeah, and interestingly, I would actually point this design sort of uh, aesthetic, I guess, to Game & Watch. If you've ever played a Game & Watch game, Every 100 or 500 points, I can't remember. Anyway, every certain amount of points, the speed of the game would go down severely. So it's, it would go start really low at 1. And then at 100, it would be really fast. And then at 101, it would slow down significantly, but not all the way. It's the same. It's ex the exact... Oh, what? Hidden block, fuck you. All right. Fuck that. All right, one more try, and then we'll, we'll call it good on this episode. I think it's time. But, um, yeah, so there. That's I feel like that's the Game & Watch design philosophy. Make it hard, make it really hard, and then ease up, but not all the way. And there's a rhythm there. And that's what Mario 3 is on the grand scale. So. This is not a... This part is sort of pointless other than I suck at it. Like, <laughs> when you fall, you can fuck up and fall really far. Come on. 
Is that the one? Which one has the fire flower? Do you remember? Like, comment, and subscribe. All right, it's this one. Ah, crap. Now my fire flower is lost because it went out of memory and is disappeared. Well done. Let's see if it's still there. Nope, it's gone. Great. Ah, fuck. Thanks, NES memory limitations for destroying my fire flower and my happiness. God, I suck. Come on. Let's go. There we go. We're getting there. Alright, and we did it with 13 more seconds than last time, at the very least. Because last time, as you surely remember, I was running out of time. Oh, a star. Cool. I'm glad it went the opposite way. Okay. Oh, where the fuck did that turtle come from? Did you see that bullshit? This flew down from the sky? It's fine, we have enough time. Yeah, we did it. Boy, that was enemies to the very end. This game does not want you to run and get a start. All right. Next time on uh, on this show, we're gonna do another set, and then and then personally, I'm gonna start editing these and uploading them. So you know, hooray for you! All right, bye.